Hello everyone, today we're going to be downloading Doom on the TI-84 Plus calculator right here. So we're going to need three things to do this. We're first going to need, of course, our calculator. The second thing we're going to need is this transfer cable. Typically, it's included in the packaging of your calculator. If not, you can just Amazon search it or Google search it, TI-84 Plus transfer cable. And then the last thing you're going to need is, of course, your computer. So once you have those three things, we're going to go ahead and start downloading things from the internet. We're going to download a total of three items. The first thing we're going to download is this uh, the software called TI Connect CE. And we're just going to press this download button right here. I'm going to be putting all of our links in the description here. Once you click on this download red button, it's going to open up this other link. And we're going to click on the one that is compatible with your computer. So if you have a Mac, click on that. If you have a Windows with the EXE installer, we're going to click on this one right here. And then if you have an MSI installer, you're going to click on that. I'm going to click on EXE just because I know I have an EXE installer on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to start downloading. The next thing we're going to download is Marriage OS v1.2. Uh, this is a software on your calculator that helps it read specific games and files. It's kind of like a file organizer or a file explorer for your calculator. So we're going to go ahead and click on this download button right here. And of course, we need to download it to our computer for it to go into our calculator. The last thing we're going to download is ZDoom 0.12. We're going to click on download right here. And this is the actual Doom game we're downloading. And we're going to want to transfer the, um, these two applications to our actual calculator. So once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and click on the TA Connect CE and we're going to go ahead and install it. All right, so it says all done. So now we can actually X out of that. And now we can actually go to the other download here, Mirage OS. So we're going to click on this one right here. And we're going to take this and we're going to drag it to the desktop. So we're just going to right here, copy to desktop right there. And then the last one we're going to do is we're going to click back on the downloads folder. We're going to double click on the Z Doom zip folder. And we're going to take this Doom, we're going to click on it. And then we're going to drag it to the desktop right here, copy to desktop. And boom, we have everything we need. So we're going to minimize everything. We're going to be on our desktop. And now we're going to open up this TI Connect CE software. We're going to double click on it, of course, to open it. And we're gonna, sure, accept the terms. Uh, no, thank you. All right, cool. Version 6.0. I don't know what version you guys have, but this is the most recent one. We're gonna take our transfer cable. We're gonna plug the USB into our actual computer. All right, there we go. So now my computer is detecting. I have a TA84 Plus. The operating system on it is 2.55. I'm pretty sure that's the latest one as of this year. So the next thing, we're actually gonna just do this. It's really, really easy. So you see how we have these two desktop files right here. We're gonna highlight them, you know, by dragging that box, or you can do them one at a time. And we're just gonna drag them on top of this calculator icon right here. We're gonna press copy. And then this thing's gonna pop up. We're gonna move both of them to archive. And then uh, just in case there's any issues, we're gonna press replace existing content just in case there's any like issues with that. So now we're just going to press send and the calculator is probably going to say a couple of things while it's transferring. Uh, mine says garbage collecting if yours does. And then after about 30 seconds or so, everything should be officially transferred onto the calculator. All right. So now since the files are on our calculator, we can actually go ahead and just unplug the cable. And now we're going to just go on the calculator and I'll show you guys how to play a little bit. And then after that, you guys are good to go. Alrighty, so now since the application is on our actual calculator, we're going to click on this uh, apps right here, this apps button, and we're actually going to scroll down the number two, Mirage OS. We're going to press enter, and then we're going to press enter again. It's sorting. Okay, now we're going to press enter to open up this main folder here, and we're going to scroll down to zoom. We're going to press enter, and it should open up the game. Doom. Here we go, and then we're going to just press new game, and I'm going to go to options and make it a bit easier. The control second is actually the enter button now in here. We're going to, I'm going to press the side arrow um, to go to the too young to die. The, that's like the easy difficulty. All right. And then I think we press, let's see. Okay. We press second to go back and then we're going to press new game. I'm going to press second here, level one. All right, here we go. All right, so it looks like we've got some action going on here. Oh, here's a guy. Oh, there we go. We're just going to spam the second button until he dies here. 
There we go. Come on. There we go. All right. He's dead. All right. What is this thing? It's like a barrel of some kind. Anyway, all right, let's pick up, what is this, ammo? It's definitely ammo. Ooh, and some health, too. Let's pick up some some health, some ammo, all that good stuff. Alrighty, so it looks like you guys are now successfully playing Doom on the actual cat. Oh, oh, here's another guy. Oh, goodness. The game is, of course, it's a bit glitchy because it's on a, it's a 3D game built into a two-dimensional screen with a barely capable processor. But this is absolutely crazy how we can actually get this first-person shooter game on a calculator. This is insane. So, yeah, I would say if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything like that. If you guys have any questions, I probably will only answer it um, a week or two after uploading this video since I'm going to be busy doing other things like other videos and all that. Uh, so, I would say if you are part of the community and you're watching this video and you're relatively calculator savvy, you can help out other people for me. Um, and I would just say that's really it. Thanks guys for watching. Oh, and a quick side note, to exit, I think we press clear, and then we're going to go down to quit, we're going to press second, and then to exit Mirage OS, okay, when it loads, to exit Mirage OS, we're going to press mode, there we go, and that clears out of it, and now you can actually go back to your 2 plus 2 equations and your graphing and all that good stuff.